Namaste, I'm Nancy Ruby. Today I'd like to introduce you to some subtle body energies that will have you feeling good from the inside out. And these energy systems are known as the bandhas, B-A-N-D-H-A-S. And a bandha means to lock or bind. The first bandha is known as mula bandha, M-U-L-A, mula meaning root and bandha to lock, so root lock. And this is about engaging the muscles on our pelvic floor, the perineum, the muscles that lie between the two sitting bones and the pubic bone and tailbone. So if you cross those bony structures right in the center, the muscles around that area are called the perineum. And we wanna engage those muscles and lift up the dome of the pelvic floor. It's the same muscles as a Kegel. It's the same muscles that you use to stop the flow of urination. So we engage those muscles and you can even feel it when you engage, you just kind of tend to lift up. And when we let go, we go down. Well, what happens over our lifetime is gravity pulls down on us, as you know, and it also pulls down that pelvic floor. So if we don't do these exercises and awaken this area, then we can have imbalances and um, problems in the area. For women, when we lose the resiliency of the pelvic floor, Women deal with incontinence, and for men, all that pressure on the pelvic floor tends to create an imbalance in their prostate gland. And we know that those are two very common maladies in the aging process. So to help avoid that and to keep that pelvic floor resilient, we wanna engage those muscles. Easiest done on the exhalation. So when you inhale, think of your body filling up all the way down to the pelvic floor. And then as you exhale, engage those muscles on the pelvic floor, lift up, and then inhale, not letting go, but just expanding a little more. Exhale, draw up, inhale, let it expand. So to exercise those muscles, you can do it with a little more gusto and really squeeze and release. During the practice of yoga asana or yoga postures, it's more of a gentle lift, a little more subtle, more energetic than physical. And when you're just moving through your day, just to keep your energy up, just keep those muscles gently engaged. Again, there should also be some movement rather than a tight engagement because we want to be supple. So inhale, let things open and expand. Exhale, engage. That's your root lock. Secondly, and you probably, probably already felt it, is the muscles along the abdominal wall. It's hard to separate these areas. So when we engage the pelvic floor, we tend to also feel the abdominals lift in and up. The word udiyana, U-D-D-I-Y-A-N-I-N-A, udiyana bandha, means flying up. So we're scooping the belly in and up, but not just from the periphery. I want you to think of coming up behind the abdominal organs, just in front of the spine, so we're really lifting from the pelvic floor right up through the center line of our body. And then that will continue lifting right up through the crown of your head. That's the energizing part. So Uddiyana Bandha is controlling our energy flow, drawing it up, and then when we let go and, and take the breath in, we let it expand, not completely release. That's when you wanna just lay down the lazy boy. Otherwise, when you're upright, you wanna keep that gentle engagement deep inside your core base of the spine, crown of the head. As you exhale, hug it it up. And as you inhale, stay lifted, but expand out. Try it, exhale, engage, inhale, expand. So you may think that exhale means letting go, but when you're upright on the vertical plane, you wanna use your exhalation as a strengthening and your inhalation as a sense of opening and receiving. So let's go again, let your breath go all the way. Engage the pelvic floor, engage the abdominal wall, and then inhale, expand and receive the breath. Let your inner body get a little broader. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug it in. Now I'm gonna teach you one more thing, which is called Uddiyana Kriya. So we're gonna exercise this abdominal wall through a physical pumping. This is best done first thing in the morning when your belly is empty without even drinking anything because it'll slosh around. So I'll show you this first and then we'll try it together. So what I'll do is take a breath in and then I'm going to exhale and exhale all my air so my diaphragm muscle, which is also a dome, lifts up 
on the exhalation so I have lots of room to move my belly and then I'm going to pull my belly way in and then push it out, pull it in, push it out. So this pushing and pulling is going to give a massage to our internal digestive organs. Excellent for digestion. So watch. So I'm pulling in and out, and when I know that I'm going to need a breath, I don't want to force that holding of the breath, is I pull the belly in, and then I stand up, and then take a breath in. You might have heard that kind of sharp drop breath in, and that showed that I was holding that breath out. So why don't you do it with me? Notice I'm, I'm stepping fairly wide in my legs. And then when I come forward, I'm hinging from my hips, keeping the chest open so the belly's open. Squeeze it out. <sighs> Lift back up. Maybe put your hand on your belly and then pull up. Up and out. <sighs> and then stand up and then take a breath. Okay, so you can do this very slowly at first. It's very um, energizing and activating to the nervous system. So you don't want to do this more than, say, six or eight times. I suggest three or four times when you're starting. And kind of slow, in, out, in, out, in, out. When that gets really comfortable and you're feeling strong in your abdominals and with these holds, then you can actually increase the pace. And I'll give you one example of that. So breathing in. A little bit faster that time and there's some other things that come with the next video once that gets comfortable then you can actually start to move your abdominals more in a circular way really and that really gets things churning called nali but for right now a little uddiyana kriya keep that uddiyana bandha lively you'll probably feel a little fire in your belly right now called agni that helps your digestion as well and hopefully that helps you feel lighter, more expansive, as well as grounded and hugged into the earth. So stay balanced, stay well. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.